Hey, today I wanted to talk about negative emotions and how they are affecting the way you live your life, the way you communicate and work with your friends and your relationships, how you behave, how you believe in things. And this is all unconscious. You're not, you know, you're not aware of these things. There are five negative emotions. Anger, sadness, fear, hurt, and guilt. Depending on what you've been through in your life, uh, especially as a child, you can hold negative charges that can trigger something in you based on what has happened in your past. For example, and everyone has these. And by the way, it's very normal to feel these negative emotions. It's just how are they controlling you? Let me give you a personal example. Uh, I'm not an angry person. Uh, I, I just don't get angry. I'm at an open house. That's why I'm in a completely vacant home. I'm not an angry person, but my dad would sometimes say these things to me, certain words that would trigger a response, an emotional response, where I just wouldn't logically think and I would just react uh, based on what had happened as I was, as, I, as a kid. And these things affected me all the way up to my adult life and I wasn't even aware of this. Uh, he would say something, I would react emotionally, uh, it would create a war between us and we wouldn't speak for weeks. After I got this anger resolved associated with this negative memory, I was able to, if my dad said something that would have prior made me react in an emotional way, I would be able to come from a place of empathy and understanding which opened up a productive dialogue for us to talk through and work out what just happened, which changed our communication. It changed our relationship just from that. Regarding sadness, a personal example. Oh, um, I have a client who actually, he was like, dude, I'm not an angry person. I'm like, I understand. Let's just do this. Let's just do the exercise and see what happens. So he's like, okay. We went through the exercise and it, he found out something that he didn't realize within himself. He would get frustrated and angry when he was belittled at work regarding, you know, when he felt lower um, educationally or uh, in the work hierarchy, he would get very frustrated and it would reflect in his communication and his output at work. Now, if unconsciously your behavior is negatively affected uh, in your friendships, relationships, in your career, and you kept on going on through your life without knowing this, how, how does that help you? How does that, what does that do for you positively? Not much. And what does it do for you negatively? A lot. What would, what, what would it do for you if you were able to resolve a negative emotion that triggered something within you without you even knowing that negatively impacts your life. What would you do? What would your life look like if you could resolve that? Going on to sadness, um, I had a sadness towards my family. We grew up very. We grew up struggling a lot financially. We didn't have much for most of our lives, and I would feel a sadness towards that, thinking, "Man, I wish my family had more." I feel bad for them, and this would reflect show up in my behavior when I would talk to my family. I would talk to them in a kind of like a depressed state because that's the emotion, the memory that I have associated with them. Thankfully, I was able to address this and resolve it. And once I resolved it, I was able to come towards, you know, come at my family with this understanding of thankfulness and gratitude that, wow, I'm so thankful that my family moved to America where it opened up all these new opportunities for me, where this nation's run by, um, through capitalism, so I can kind of make money doing whatever the fuck. How amazing is that? So many opportunities. There's no need to be sad about my family situation. It was all for this. So, I mean, that changed the way I communicated with my family, etc. I dealt with a lot of guilt. 
I wasn't the best partner in my previous relationships. I wasn't the best person, actually. There was a lot I could have improved on. And after the relationship, my uh, last one, I would sometimes, you know, I'd feel a lot of guilt. I wouldn't be able to sleep sometimes because it was on my mind about how I could have been a better partner, how I shouldn't have done that, whatever, whatever, whatever. And after I resolved my guilt, I texted my last girlfriend. I texted her something nice that was able to wrap up our relationship in a very nice bow. Saying something like, I wish you the best in all the on all your future relationships. I'm I'm very thankful for what we learned together. Um stuff like that. And it ended really nicely. I was able to learn what I should have done, what I will do. Now I don't think about this anymore. It doesn't bother me. It's it's amazing, first of all, to understand how much negative emotion, uh, your negative emotions can play a role in your behavior, your attitudes, triggers to certain responses. And it's even more amazing to be able to address it and resolve it so that you're not being controlled unconsciously by something that happened in your past. Imagine what that would do for you. Imagine what that would do for your life, your career, work, family, finances, your mental health, mental clarity, your physical health, everything. What would that do for your life if you weren't controlled by negative emotions that you don't know about? What would it do? What would your life look like? Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, if you watch at this point, say something like, cool open house or something. So I know you watched to the end. I'm always interested in who's watching to this point. It's important for me. I want to know who I'm speaking to. I want to know who I'm reaching out to. Yeah, thanks for watching.